All right, so anyway, the weather's been crap. I came in and did a bunch of um, paperwork and whatnot, but we're back on the ambulance. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Let's go build something cool. Front spring hangers are mounted in position and I've started drilling a couple of holes here. My 3 16th drill bit, I broke it off. And I'm not afraid to stick it in and break it off from day one. My, my big old long boy, but a little trip to Lowe's, got me another one. I also got myself a 3 8 to go with it, just so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so we start off with some itty bitty 3 16 holes. We used a transfer punch like this and you put your transfer punch in the laser cut hole and tap it. Just tap it in. And then that marks the center. And then once you've done that, you come in with the, and you pop that hole. And then you've got a 3 16 And what I did to make sure we had a nice straight shot was this is called, what is this called? Big Gator Tools Hole Alignment Drill Guide. All right, so what you do is once you pop that hole, and you insert you insert your transfer punch and then it goes in here like this and then it runs all the way through to the other side and you hold it nice and flat and then you tap it and then you've got your center punch marked on the other side and you guys let me see if you can see through here let's see here you guys can see that hole is all the way through right there. We have this piece of sheet metal stuck up there so we don't wind up going right into the radiator because that's bad. But uh, we're going to drill some holes. Got our handy dandy little $7 light here. And, uh, oh, hey, zebra. Anyway, so we got to drill this through. I've already come through this side in the front. The front ones are easy. The rear-ish ones weren't quite as simple, but not a big deal. And so we're gonna pop these out to 3 eighths, and then we're gonna pop them out to uh, a half inch, and then we're gonna go to three quarter on these four on the outside. The ones on the inside of the frame, they go out to a half an inch. Uh, so now that we've got our pallet hole started, um, we gotta do some drilling. We gotta cut some holes. All right. Keep drilling. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, hi gang. Just wanted to show you something. Um, this guy is blocked by this guy. Or at least it was. But I think we're gonna be able to get this out. Which is nice, cause you know, it needs to come out in order to change the leaf spring. But the body mounts were so collapsed, which we may wind up having to change those. The kind of thing we probably had to change. Anyways, I just want to give you a little sit rep. The, uh, right now the rear end is off getting built and the front spring hangers are at powder coat those are captured by the way on the inside and uh yeah so we're gonna try to try to get this dude out of here it'll be great i'm sure of it i think Yeah, this leaf spring only weighs like 300 pounds, so yeah, it'll be cool. If we can come up another like 3 16 maybe a quarter, that'll come right out. We're lifting from the frame structure. I can see the junction right here. There's like four tubes that all come together, so I didn't just push on the box. To... Boy, they really didn't do us any favors on that one, did they? Give me my favorite cutoff wheel. Yeah, it's on. We're really not in a position to change all the cab mounts and do all that stuff right this second. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just zip this dude off 
and then we'll get a new bolt and we should be able to go through the other direction. If we can't, we will wind up taking all the cab mounts loose um, on this side and then try to pick it back up again. Uh, but for the time being, we've got to get this project rolling. Yeah, Cody McCutterson. On the 18th green, Shooter McGavin is putting for the win. <coughs> Well, it's a cold, wet, rainy day, but we're back on the Ambo. Let's see if I can get this out without uh, killing myself or Trevor. Yeah. Kind of don't want it to just fall, but I did clear a path just in case. So we're chipping away on the bus and I wanted to show you guys this. This is the rear leaf that came out. You can see it's dead flat when it's just sitting here. But this is the new leaf that replaces it. <clears throat> so that's cool. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, Chris at U-Joint kind of got this stuff figured out. This is kind of like his thing. Anyways, we got these atlases, they took forever to get, but uh, everything's cool, man. We're just chipping away. Um, had that problem with the bolt on this side that we talked about briefly a minute ago, or we talked about a minute ago. Um, on this side, we got a similar issue. See that bolt? Yeah, it's hitting this box that's right in here. Uh, the problem is, so we did our trying to jack the cab up a little bit or the box up a little bit. Uh-uh, it ain't going. 
Um, this is just a storage bin, so I think what we're going to wind up doing is we're just going to cut this one off for now. And then um, we can't go through the other side because it's going to hit the frame. There's not enough clearance. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the back side of the box. It's just aluminum. And then what we'll wind up doing is just putting a, like a body plug in there with some uh, silicone and stuff on it. So that way it's, it's sealed up. But if you ever have to service this again, you should be able to get that out. So anyways, that's the plan. Let's go weigh these leaf springs. I wanna show you how ridiculously heavy they are. Come on, Trevor, give me a hand. Let's go to the scale. All right, so 133 pounds, the one that came off. 142 so that's cool not adding a ton of weight but uh certainly heavy enough uh, i think the fronts are more like 70 or 80 